Hello. Um. Um. They were gonna be playing some Sam and Max. We finished Situation Comedy. They were gonna be playing Sam and Max, Episode 3. The Mole, the Mob, and the Meatball. Classic. Probably. I don't know. We'll see how it is. I'm gonna download it now. Cause it'll probably only take like a couple minutes. Whew. But. started you know the deal you know how it is all right let's go let's go let's go let's go come on let's go let's get the shit let's get the shit let's get the shit wait top of the morning top of the morning top of the morning top of the morning oh god all right i'm gonna hold on Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go ahead and shut those off for a second while I um make sure I'm gonna I don't wanna watch this. Um. Alright, I have to watch this apparently, this cutscene. We know what happened last time, so I'm gonna fix it. I wonder how many times I've had, I guess, three times now? Four times? <sighs> yeah. Yawn. Alright, I don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. Alright, let me fix the settings here. Graphics low. 1920 by, or sorry, 1280 by 960 apparently. Subtitles on, yep, warp drive. 
Warp drive? The hell? Okay. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Start this bad boy up. Alright, let's start it. Oh yeah, wait. Sorry. You have these two things to get. Okay. Let's boot it. Let's go. Oh shit, you can't hear the audio. Good job, me. <laughs> I'm just sitting here in silence. Like an idiot. Okay. We're good. Wow. The mole. The ma. And the meatball. Shane? Hiya, Sam. Good news, Max. I think I just gave birth to a bouncing baby hernia. Hiya! <laughs> Hanger! I got it! I got it! Ow! Hello. Yes, Commissioner? Holy cap wearing catfish flopping a crime beat. We're on our way. Did he get the notes I sent him? Yes, but he said to stop carving them into the suspects. He can't read them without his bifocals. What if I just write bigger? Forget that, Max. We're after the most infamous organized crime outfit in the city. The Toy Mafia. The <gasps> cutthroat killers with no respect for human life but an odd predilection for delightful children's toys? The same. I love those guys! The Commissioner has reason to believe that the Toy Mafia's secret headquarters are located in the one place no one would ever suspect. Where? Teddy Bear's Mafia-free Playland and Casino. <gasps> the shallowest place on Earth? Oh, boy! Well, it's not going to be all laughs and dyspepsia, little chump. It's a rescue op. The commissioner sent an undercover mole to investigate, but he hasn't reported in weeks. Our job is to make contact with the mole and see if he needs help. Is he a large, star-shaped mole, or more of a beauty mark? No idea, Max. To find him, we're supposed to give the code phrase, does the carpet match the drapes? And what'll he say? He'll say, well, I never can smack me across the face. Sounds great! Let's do this! Okay. We have her lore. What's on TV? Look, Max, the Midtown Cowboys reruns. Better get the serious toothpaste. Turn it off! I hate the sound of my voice on tape. It doesn't sound like me. All right, whatever, man. Whatever you say. I don't care. 20 years worth of electric bills take up a surprising amount of space. Well, that's all you ever have to say about that, apparently. But the lava lamp. Classic lava lamp. Someone once told me that the contents of a lava lamp make an excellent hand cream. That hand was cream. Me. Which is why I haven't tried it. Makes 2002 sense. was a great year for calendars. I'm glad we stocked up. We've been going through them at a rate of about one a year since then. Yeah, 2002 was a great year for calendars. Jimmy Two Teeth, Fins. It's a sad day when hardworking rodents have to make their living as a freestanding form of enclosure. Uh, I think that's Fence in the buys and sells stolen goods sense of the word. Beat it! You're getting in the way of my customers. What customers? <laughs> what customers? Oh, wait, hold on. Music is great, but it is a little bit loud. And hey, Snakes, an extra card up your sleeve never hurts. Except when the other guy catches you with it and decides to riddle every inch of your body with high caliber bullets and then dump your mutilated corpse in an empty field. Yeah, I hate it when except that happens. This. Oh. Jimmy Two Teeth, Fence. Beat it. Beat it. Fine. When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never going to look at again? Exactly. Hey, we Jesse James Jesse hand. James's hand appraised one of these days. I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed. 
That's so true. Our First time we can cook this. Smile cabinet is almost full. Can I help it if I come from a large family? Uh huh? Ants and are farm. just like people, aren't they? Yeah, kind of cute from far away, but really the scary void. when you look at them through a microscope. The void. Look at the black. The void. Ah, Brady Culture's hair. It makes for an unwieldy but oh so enchanting memento of our first case in a long while. He howled like a sick wallaby when I shaved it off him. Good times. times. So this chart pile of scraps serves as a touching reminder of the fun we had at WARP TV. I've determined that whether for food or for sport, I just really enjoy frying things. So true. Oh, look at the little, oh, look at the little paper. Paper Max. Right, sorry. I'm fangirling. Uh, girling. Answering machine. What's on the answering machine? Hi, Sam. This is yourself. Don't forget to listen to the answering machine messages. And get Max a smack from me. Okay. Does it seem quiet in here to you? Does it seem quiet in here to you? Oh, they're fumigating the building today. I forgot to tell you. Well, that explains it. <laughs> what time is it? What time is it? I'm happy to say I have no idea. And I'd rather keep it that way. Hmm. We should hustle over to the casino and find that mole. Fine with me. I've been looking for something to do since I found out Sudoku doesn't involve ritual suicide. <laughs> I guess we should get back to work. Okay. okay, although I prefer <laughs> the term mayhem for pay. Mayhem for pay, so true. Hi Sam, this is yourself again. Don't forget to erase the answering machine messages before you listen to them. And give Max his own battle tank from me. Hi Sam, this is yourself. Don't forget to listen to the answering machine messages and give Max a smack from me. The drawers are just painted on to make the desk seem useful. Nothing useful in here. How ironic! Donut box, though. The donut box is a happy reminder of a bygone era, specifically last July. All right, let's get out of here for now. We grabbed one item. We'll see what we do with it at some point. Yep. By golly. Got a dumpster over there. Ooh. The alien love rectangle post. I had no idea there was such fierce competition among alien love polygon tabloids. Myra Stump shocks crowd with new hairstyle. Wow, talk about a slow day for news. I don't talk about the news, Sam. I make it. <laughs> Athlete's foot linked, uh, what does it say? Athlete's Myra foot outbreak linked new to global warming. Wow, talk about a slow day for news. I don't talk about the news, Sam. No, I trench foot it. linked to, uh, water being too wet. Hey, Wait, there's, there's nice nothing on the table? Son of Cordon Bleu! Who is this, uh, Bosco? <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Bosco! Hi, Bosco. No. But you may call me Jean-Francois Sissipans, the cowardly French anarchist. Okay. What's the with so the French Bosco, disguise? why'd you get Frenchified? They saw right through my British disguise. I don't know how they did it, but they found me. Who? The Mafia. The toy Mafia. They've got an in for me. Take a number, guys. <laughs> what is the Toy Mafia doing? What manner of nightmarish atrocities has the Toy Mafia committed against you? Nothing. Yet. Yet. But I know what they are planning, and it is terrible. Are they planning to tie you down, tape your eyelids open, and turn on the 24-hour Midtown <sighs> Cowboys channel? Well, not that kind of sounds bad. pretty fun. I have reason to believe they the are planning to deliver something to my star. Another delivery conspiracy? 
What could a band of ruthless toy mongers possibly want to put in here? I don't know. But it is no matter. They will never be able to deliver anything to my store. Or my name is not Jean-Francois Sissy Pants. But your name's not Jean-Francois Sissy Pants. Hey, you they said the same thing. That. I was going to say it too, but I was drinking water. Me and Max are on the same wave, uh, same wavelength. What's keeping the Toy Mafia from making a delivery? Well, for one, I am watching always. They will never sneak past me. Yeah, just like Wizard couldn't sneak past you. And two, even if they do get past me, I got a fail safe. It's the greatest invention the world has seen uh, since. Oh, doing the French accent. I call it the Bosco Tech Anti-Delivery System. What's the acronym for that? Uh, also b -tads. It is b -tads Part 2! How does a b -tads Part 2 work? How does b -tads Part 2 work? First is the anti-delivery camera. It keeps a massive photo recognition database of every inconvenient item I stock. How completely impractical. If anything gets placed in the store that the anti-delivery camera does not recognize, it is put out on the street. Vive la France! Damn. Does the carpet match the drapes? Does the carpet match the drapes? No! And you know why? Because the man doesn't want them to. He's threatened by their potential unification. Mm -hmm. Look, it's the Toy Mafia. Look outside. It's the Toy Mafia. What? Where? Fools. There is no one. <laughs> Sorry, Bosco. Just yanking your chain, amigo. Sacre bleu! I could do this all day. And I intend to. <coughs> Look outside. It's the Toy Mafia. What? Where? Fools! There is no one! <laughs> Sorry, Bosco. Just yanking your chain, amigo. Sacre bleu! I could do this all day. And <laughs> I intend to! Look outside. It's the Toy Mafia. What? Where? Fools! There is no one! <laughs> Sorry, Bosco. <laughs> Just yanking your chain, amigo. Sacre bleu! I could do this all day. And I intend to! We want to buy something. Oui, oui, monsieur. What do you got? Ooh la la! Behind the counter, I have the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. A device non pareil on chocolate. Is that good? Oui, oui. This I call a miniature listening device. It can fit in any cravat under any chapeau. What's it do? It listens. You can use it to hear secret conversations, no? No. I mean, yes. Okay, Give it to us. Sissy Pants, we'll Give take that us. miniature listening device. The price is 10 million dollars. 10 million? Wait, is that 10 million in crazy fake French dollars or 10 million in regular dollars? Regular dollars. The market is bearish on crazy fake French dollars. Damn it. Do you have any stray tufts of Sasquatch hair? Nope! Okay. Nothing for us right now. Zit! See you later, Bosco. I know not this Bosco of whom you speak, but if I see him, I shall bid him a reservoir! A reservoir. That's not even worth a comment. It's a table. No thanks. I brought my lunch today. Are those the same two weenies that were in there a month ago? Are you the same two weenies that were in here a month ago? He's got me there. The anti-delivery camera. Foamy bread. Made from real styrofoam? No, artificial styrofoam. Whee! Whee! I think it's the tinge of green that makes this coffee especially appealing. I take my coffee green. Like my men. Never get so Sludgies. This week's flavors, avocado de menthe and fudge pâté de foie gras. Oh, good. For a second, I thought it was something disgusting. Oh, good. Buy nachos. Free toilet brush with every purchase. Free toilet brush. I'm sold. Use toilet brush. I'll pass. 
We need it. Nachos. They're mine. Nachos. Well, we need we need a toilet brush. Whee! Ooh, fun. Say, Max. I am not getting in that thing again. It took me weeks. Tongues placed on freezer become property of Bosco. I got quite a few tongues that way. He likes tongues. All right, well, you have no other per. Wait, big smokes. Big smokes. Don't smoke, kids. Unless you're on fire, then it's only natural. So true. Is that clock correct? Well, it's only got one hand, so probably not. One hand. Diner. All right, now let's go see what, uh, Let's go see uh, if anything else has changed around here, by chance. Oh, they took the sign down from lefties. Spin the Bottle Championship is coming up. I like when they do the sudden death round with the Molotov cocktails. Do you like taking in some pro wrestling? I think I've seen that one. We should go to Switzerland sometime, Max. Nah, they always jip you on the cheese. It's like half air. Hey, it's the Indie Angst Film Festival. What do they do? Show that second movie over and over again? Which one? Oh, lefties. This place used to be lefties tool rental shop. Good old lefty. I'll miss him. You couldn't stand Lefty. You once poked him in the eye with a number three socket spanner. Exactly. Good times. Good times. Womp womp. All right, let's see here. All right, she's now witnessing. Sam. Hello, Max. Hey, it's our favorite short attention span careerist. This time, I've found the job for me. I've become a professional trial witness. Okay. What's a professional trial witness? What exactly is a professional trial witness? Oh, it's great. We give dramatic testimonies, sequester in ritzy hotels, and order room service in the name of truth and justice. It almost sounds like you're enriching yourself at the expense of this country's overcomplicated legal system. Do you have a problem with that, Mr. Freelance Police? Yeah, why didn't we think of it? Why'd you become a trial witness? What led you to decide to become a professional witness? Publishing the Alien Love Triangle Times taught me a lot about the truth, you know? The truth is far out there? Exactly. And then one day I got called for jury duty, and the rest is history. Oh. What's your next career gonna be? What's your be? next career gonna be? Oh, there is no next career. I'm sticking with trial witnessing for good. That's not true. No, seriously, what's no, your next seriously. career? Seriously. Any ideas about your next cockamamie profession? I resent that. Maybe if you actually stuck to a profession. Do you have your first case yet? No, but I'm waiting for a call from the district attorney. He says he's got something I'd be perfect for. You don't feel uncomfortable getting a case first and then being a witness for it? Not at all. You see, the problem with most trials is that crimes are witnessed by someone who's unprepared for what's going to happen, or who doesn't have sufficient training or skills to accurately remember or relate what happened. With my background and widely varied skill set, I'm perfect. That makes sense. Should I be afraid? Probably. Okay. Does the carpet match the drapes? 
Interior decorating was like eight months ago. I'm a trial witness now. Isn't trial witnessing a trifle dangerous? Oh no, we're protected by the truth. By the truth. We'll be back, Sybil. Bye, boys. Keep one eye on the truth. All right. Can I play with that? No, it drives people crazy. Who? Me. Who? My McGrath. Print up any titillating scandal mags lately? No. Very convenient if you haven't got a bulletin board. Poughkeepsie Man Slays Three and Asparagus Rampage. Huh. Nice cactus. Saguaro? Vinyl. Hey, if you dip that in ink, you could do 30 tattoos at once. Wow. If I could scare up 30 customers at once, I'd still be in the tattoo business. Why aren't you in the tattoo business? Well, she did piercings, then tattoos. Where are we going, Sam? Where are we going, Sam? Teddy Bears Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! Welcome to Teddy Bears Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Ah! That face. My name's Lovey Bear. Boy, do we have some fun and games for you. Here, take this token amount of tokens as our way of saying welcome and go spend a lot of money. Wow. Holy domesticated ursins, Max. Lovey Bear here's got the same head as that hypnotic teddy bear from Myra's talk show. You think that little talk show bear had a litter of giant babies? I don't know, Max. Call it canine intuition, but I think our mole discovered something about these teddy bears he shouldn't have. We've got to find him and get to the bottom of this. You're lucky this mask doesn't have ear holes, or I might have heard that secret conversation you just had right in front of me. What? Sorry, I wasn't listening. <laughs> you give tokens to first-time customers? First customers? That's right. Go on, enjoy. Live a little. It just seems like bad business sense. Okay, tell you what. 13 hours from now, when you're trying to pawn your little friend here to pay off the VIG, we can talk then about bad business sense. Okay, we'll come back then. Okay. <laughs> I hear you have a mole problem. Hey, it's a genetic condition. You should have seen my father's back. Holy cow, I'm actually being too subtle. First time that's ever happened. Maybe I should just stick to the code phrase. Does the carpet match the drapes? If Don Ted E. Bear says so, they do. Don Teddy Bear? I thought this place was mafia free. That's right, kiddies. 100% mafia free. No mafia anyways. Come on, True. We're looking for somebody who works here. Look. I just greet the guests. You want to know who works here? Talk to Don Ted E. Bear. He's in charge. Where's the Don? He's got, uh, business in the back room. You know what I mean? Business? What kind of business? Yeah, the kind of business that gets said like it's got quote marks around it, so's you know not to ask. Okay. We're still looking for somebody. We're looking for somebody who works here. Just talk to Ted E. Bear. Fine. Thanks, Lovey Bear. Enjoy, and remember, if you're not losing, we're not winning. Look, Max, it's a beloved carnival game with a delightful mobster twist. What better way to relax than by offing fake rodents in the most violent way imaginable? No, please supply your own firearm. We always do. Insert token to play. Let's give this a shot. <laughs> I'm in pain. 
These rats are gonna pop up, see? If the rat keeping his mouth shut, you don't touch him. But if that rat's singing, you put a bullet in his head, Cappy! Now have fun! How can we not? Guidance counselor was right. I should have become a mafia hitman. Look, there's the prize. As advertised, it's an almost entirely worthless teddy bear refrigerator magnet. Hey, let's find someone with a metal plate in their skull and redecorate their forehead. Oh, Max, you really know how to find the bright side of everything, don't you? Yes, I do. Now let's go shoot something. Cool, we just got a cool magnet. These rats are gonna pop up, see? If the rat's keeping his see? mouth shut, you don't touch him. But if that rat's singing... Look. Wait. Hello there, freaky bearhead wearing card dealer. Hello, I'm Cuddly Bear. Wanna play cards? Um... Does the carpet match the drapes? Wanna play cards? We asked first! Wanna play cards? Hmm. We're looking for someone who works here. Wanna play cards? Sounds like someone played a game of 52 card pickup and lost. We'd like to develop a gambling addiction starting now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what do we have here? I, wanna I say the circus was in town. But I know for a fact they won't be gambling. here till next Friday. So you must be here to play cards. Depends. Who are we playing? Oh my Leonard gosh, it's the villain Charm. from Leonard Steak Charm. From me. Let's just say Meet I did the Robinsons. Rack up 10 million tokens by getting lucky. <laughs> How'd you get him then? By cheating? Look, Rabbit, Leonard Steak Charmer's no cheat. He's just that good. Okay, what's the game, Steak Charmer? Truest test of skill there is Indian poker. How do you play Indian poker? How exactly does one play poker of the Indian persuasion? You know you're off to a good start when your opponent doesn't even know how to play. You ever consider that we might be card sharks? Or shark sharks? You know, the kind that eat people for being overconfident? Whatever. Look, it's simple. We both get dealt a card which we put on our forehead without looking at it. So we can see each other's card, but not our own. Pretty sharp, McGruff. Don't call me that. And you make a bet if you think you got the higher card, or fold if you want out. That's it? Yep. And we see who's got the highest card, and then I win, like always. Well, when you put it like that, we'd be fools not to play. Okay. Does the carpet match the drapes? No, it's stained with tobacco juice. Squalid, yet candid. Normally, I like that in a gambler. But for you, we'll make an exception. Hmm. Leonard Steak Charmer, huh? You don't look like a Leonard Steak Charmer. Oh, yeah? What do I look like? You look more like, a uh, Boris Crinkle. That's what everyone says. Boris Crinkle. So are you a real Indian? Yeah, I'm a wooden Indian. As in, wouldn't bet against me if I was you. I'll kill him! Not yet. How do you get anyone to gamble with you? Frankly, you seem shady. I offer great odds, and I possess a certain subtle charm. I hate to break it to you, but non-existent and subtle are two different things. Maybe charm is a euphemism for gum disease. Look, I'm here to play poker. Are we going to get this dog and bunny show on the road, or what? Leonard, you give new meaning to the phrase, a face only a mother could love. My mama said I was beautiful. Uh... We'd like to try our hand at a hand of Indian poker. You won't regret this, Helen. By which I mean, I won't regret this. Oh, and try any funny stuff with your partner and I'll shoot you both. That seems fair. I got 10 million tokens says I got a better card than you. I'm betting it all. Sweet second mortgages on a summer home. We can't match that. 
tell you what, Pooch. I'm feeling so confident. I'll give you 10 million to one odds. Just bet one token, and you could win the whole pot. Those are mighty good odds. No, they ain't, Deputy Dog, because I never lose. <laughs> so, you in or out? Too rich for my blood. Did someone say blood? What? <laughs> I win again. That one was for you, Mama. That's enough for now. Okay. Although I could have sworn you were a dog, not a chicken. A common mistake. I'm sure he'd be happy, but I'm not sure I would. I'd rather not advertise the ace up my sleeve. Could you use an extra ace? All our decks have five aces already. Keeps the players happier. Uh, okay, so how am I supposed to get a thing? Whoa! It's a rubber ducky ashtray. Leave it to the toy mafia to make smoking fun. Oh my gosh. A one-armed bandit. Insert token to play. You see that, Sam? It's a little play on the well-known colloquialism for slot machine. The fun just never stops at Teddy Bears. Sweet mother of bleary-eyed gambling addiction, we won! Yeah, we won, but there's no prize! You gotta hand it to Teddy Bear. He really puts the bandit in one-armed bandit. Hold it! What's the password? You may Buffet closed for a semi annual food change. Sorry, Max. Aww. Sorry, Max. Hold it, mugs. Not mugs, Max. I don't care if it's Teddy Ruxpin. No one gets in without a password. <laughs> oh, right. That would be what again? Why don't you tell me? Does the carpet match the drapes? I don't know. I set fire to the drapes. I love to watch things burn. Hey, me too! Oh. I'm sorry I asked. Sorry I asked. Let us, Let in. us in. Only Toy Mafia allowed in. Not that there's any Mafia here. Okay, we'd like to sign up for the Toy Mafia, please. Talk to Chuckles. He's the head of Mafia admissions. Where's Chuckles? Right behind this door. This is what it would be like if Catch-22 had a meaner older brother. Look, I don't make the rules. I just blindly enforce them. So how do I join? The password is Swordfish. Nope. Oh. The password is Rosebud. Nope. The password is password. Nope. Bring me the head of Alfredo Garcia? Nope. I've come to Grandma's funeral? Nope. Who's on first? Nope. Who's your daddy? Nope. I am the walrus? Nope. You remind me of this shopkeeper I know. Nope. I give up. Will you let me in, please? Nope. The password is swordfish. Nope. Okay. We'll be back. Like I care. Give me the password. We'll be back. Like I Uh It's a rubber ducky. Leave it to the. All right, let's play. Hello, cuddle. Want to play cut? We want to back for a little more. Just a little more. Deal. All right.
fold. What, no 10 million token bet? Nope. I just always know when I got the lower card. Call it my sixth sense. Or seventh, if you count my sense of humor. <laughs> we don't. Well, we're certainly never getting rich at this rate. We'll be back. Just remember. Mm. I'd rather keep it to myself. It wouldn't look good there. What a lovely song. Back for a little more public. Just a little more. That's enough. Okay. A common mis- Teddy Bear's Original Meatball Sandwich. Looks tasty! The original Teddy Bear made this original meatball sandwich with his own two paws in 1957. The microorganisms that give Teddy's modern meatballs their distinctive tang are descended from the colony in this sandwich. Oh, okay. Damn it. I don't think that takes to The magnet wouldn't look good there. Nah, I don't want to ace that. Hi, Levy Bear. Mm, having fun? Thanks, no. Levy Bear. And I'm not having fun. Hello. What? We want to play back for just a little. Deal. All right. He has a tin. I'm betting all ten million, and you only gotta bet one. So, you in or out? Uh, sure. Sure, we'll bet a token. <laughs> Sorry, Rover. You lose. Stick Chama wins. Mama was wrong. Gambling does pay. I'd say better luck next time, but it'll take more than luck to beat me. Yeah, it'd take a sturdy oaken staff to really do the oh. job. We'll be back. Just remember. Max, I need to talk to you. Is that poker guy psychic or what? It's like he can see his own card. I'm sure he just cheats. I would. How do you win when the other guy cheats? Cheat better? Hmm. Heard any good passwords lately? No, but then I probably haven't been listening in the right places. Passwords. Let's wallow in casino magic. I've got a couple of rabbit's feet for luck. I'd rather not advertise the ace up my sleeve. Could you use an extra? All on decks. I'm sure he'd be happy, but I'm not sure I would. What would I use the... What could I use the magnet on? Hello, cuddly. Wanna play? 
We want a bag for just a deal. All right. Hmm. I think it constantly switches back and forth between four and ten. So. Fold. We'll never get rich at this rate. Deal. All right. Yeah, so it just switches between 4 and 10. No wonder why he can read his cards. I'm betting all. So, yeah. Look at this nerd. Fold. I win again. That one was for you, Mama. What? That's enough for now. Okay. A common I'm not mistake. A nerd. I'm not a nerd. Try that again, and we'll fill you with so many holes your little friend will be able to store his straw collection. Could you make them small enough to drain pasta? Because I think I just lost the colander. I'm just gonna put this gun away and make it a point to never do that again. How's that sound? <gasps> it's a stick up. Shane. A one armed bandit. Hmm. What do I do? What do I do? You're on fire. Still no prize. We're wasting our money, Sam. Hold it. What's the password? You may enter. You may enter. Okay, well, I guess I better go somewhere else. It's a clown. Wait. Oh. All right, what do I do with the magnet? Sam, what do I do with the magnet? Jimmy Two Teeth. It's a sad day. Closure. Uh, I think. Beat it. What cuss? Hey, Jimmy, we're looking to sell. Oh, no. I don't want nothing that belongs to you. You'll decide you want it back, and then you'll throw me off a bridge or something. He's got a point. Hey, Jimmy, we're looking to sell. Amscray. Aw. Get away, Seamus! I don't fence bullets! Uh, you're impossible. What about tokens? Hey, Jimmy, we're looking to buy. Oh, no. That's quite true. Damn it. What happens if I put a magnet on the uh, TV? A magnet wouldn't look good there. Or would it look good? Where can one put a magnet? I have no idea on what I'm doing. I'd rather not advertise the ASAP. I'd rather not. I'd rather keep it to myself. Whee! 
I'd rather keep it to... Halt! Are you trying to deliver something? I am watching you! Halt! Are you trying... I have no need to subject that to intense heat and radiation. Halt! I... I don't think that takes tokens. Not chose. Um. Um. Oh my gosh, it's coal. Coal tar. Whoa. One dollar lottery tickets, two dollars. I'm feeling lucky already. Something that I need, I don't know what it is. Come on, game, help me out. It's getting late. Hey, Sam, if it's always getting later and l that's one of. I think I've had a Okay, but hmm. We'll be back. Bye, okay. boys. Okay. All right. Uh Okay. Tampering with the mail is it? As we found Soto. Where are we going, Sam? Teddy Goody. Welcome to T Step Right Up, Kitties. We Wreck the Rats. Insert token. Let's play again. Looks like they're all out of prices. It's still fun though. Damn it. Whee! Damn it. Let me talk to Max. I do. What are we doing here again? Losing all our money and reinforcing impulsive behavior? I mean, apart from that. I don't know. When we walked in here, we were talking about finding a mole with that code phrase, but I'm so simultaneously smitten by the lure of easy lucre and stricken by fear of innate failure, I can't really think straight. Where should we go from here? I don't know. If all the gaudy lights and chicanery weren't distracting me, I'd say go to where we're least wanted. You mean that back room with the guard and the restricted access? Actually, I meant the kitchen, but your idea is good too! Hmm... How do you win when the other guy cheats? Cheat better? Let's wallow and ca- I've got a-
Buffet closed for a semi-annual food change. Sorry, Max. Ah. Damn it. I don't know what I need to do. There's not a lot of options here. I gotta think. What if I put it on the chair or something? That is one shiny nose. Almost as shiny as yours! Keep it up and you'll get a shiner too. A magnet wouldn't look good there. Wow, it sticks! Hello, cuddly bear. Wanna play? We want to play back for a little more. Just a little more. Deal. All right. I'm betting all 10 million, and you only got to bet one. So, you in or out? Sure, we'll bet a token. Huh. Sorry, Fido. You lose. The dog wins. What? I you you cheated me! What are you talking about, Leonard? How did we cheat? You pay up, stick charmer. Mama, why weren't you watching over me? I'm ruined. <laughs> He's gone. Let's go, Max. Leonard and his dead mother need some alone time right now. Yeah, let's we go win. see if we can play whack the rats 10 million times in a row without passing out. Okay. Stack of tokens. All right, how do we cash these out? Hi, Levy Bear. Having fun. Thanks. Enjoy. We have $10 million. Time to get the new latest invention. We want to buy something. Oui, oui, monsieur. Okay, stinky pants. Here's your ten million. By the sacred stench of Saint Gainsbourg, these are not American dollars. No, but there are ten million of them. Hmm. Well, the prize is that teddy bears can be quite useful. I accept. And in return, I give you the miniature listening device. This is a bug. Precisely. <laughs> Does this thing really work? Does this thing really work? That answer your question. Now listen up, maggots. I am a bug. Drop me in enemy territory, and I will get all the information you need. You just make sure to pick me up again, and I will repeat every word. Every word! We'll be putting you in some situations that could be a mite precarious. Think you can handle <laughs> it? I was a knob, boy! Mike. You don't want to know what I've been through. They slaughtered ladybugs. Ladybugs! And that's not all. I've seen them kill. Larvae. Larvae! Huh? That's babies. So, yeah, I think I can handle it. Now, I need some shut-eye before the mission. Put me in your pocket. In your pocket! Move, maggot! Sir, yes, sir! Sam? Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! Goody! Gambling! Welcome to, you know. Better luck next time. Sucker! Leave me alone. 
Get off that shitty game and get on Valorant. Did you just fucking call this game shitty? What are you smoking? <sighs> no. Shit. Game crashed. Where are we going, Sam? Where are we going, Sam? Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland. Goody! Welcome to. You know what? Getting on or no? Why would I get on? No. What? I'm not getting- I'm not changing the entire point of the stream, which is me playing this. You're on fire. Still no prize. We're wasting our money, Sam. Hold it! What's the password? You may enter. Organic listening device. Did you get it all? Yeah, I got it. Now listen up. Here's what they said. Hold it. What's the password? That's gotta be, what, a hundred times I've come through that door today, and you still don't recognize me? It's the bear heads, boss. They all look alike. <sighs> Leave the gun, take the cannolis. You may enter. Now get me in that pocket. Move! Sir, yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Give me the password. Uh. Leave the gun, take the cannolis. You may enter. You may enter. This is it? Where's the food? Surely there's a buffet back here. Hey, look, that must be Teddy Bear. Where do you wise guys think you're going? Who, us? We were just browsing. We frown on that around here. I'm Chuckles, the casino pit boss. I've had my eye on you. Uh, how long have you been watching us? Long enough. Do I look any taller than I did ten minutes ago? Your win at poker was, shall we say, creative. Why, whatever are you insinuating? That was nice work. You also somehow got the password to let you into this room. Very clever. I'm impressed. The Toy Mafia can use guys who are long on brains and short on scruples. You interested? Um... Thought this was a uh, great. Once we're in, we can find the mole for sure. Sounds good. I can't think of anything I'd rather do. At least not for the next five minutes. I've always wanted to be a thug. Officially, I mean. The fact that you've already got your own animal costume shows great initiative. <laughs> but before we can accept you into the family, there are two jobs I need you to do for us. Chuckle, bad news. The original meatball sandwich has been stolen. <gasps> there are three jobs I need you to do for us. <laughs> what kind of jobs? There are two oh, jobs I usual. need you to do for us. I want you to lean on somebody. Meatball sandwich is gone. I want you to whack somebody. There are somebody, three jobs. And I want you to recover <laughs> a small item that belongs to us. <laughs> Says in a calm voice. There are three jobs that I need you to do now. What do you want us to lean on? Who do you want us to lean on? A local shopkeeper who's been refusing to stock our products. Take these special teddy bears and make sure he displays them on the sale table in the front of his store. No problem. The store is called Bosco's Inconvenience. Um, no problem. Uh-oh. Who do you want us to whack? We're having trouble with a witness who refuses to see things our way. 
I want you to silence a certain civil pandemic. Silence as in gag her? Gag her with a pistol. <laughs> you want us to kill Sybil? Make it messy as a message to other potential witnesses. <laughs> we have her under surveillance, so we'll be watching. Yikes. Okay. And? What is it that you want us to recover? It's that rotting old sandwich, right? The original meatball sandwich has great sentimental value to our organization. I want you to track it down before the disrespectful slime bag who stole it manages to fence it to some other lowlife. Sounds detective-y. Deal with the thief as you see fit. We'd like to preserve plausible deniability on this one. Okay. I think we've got it. Do these three things, Sam and Max, and you shall be as we are. Verbally overwrought? Members of the Toy Mafia. Oh, right. Does the carpet match the drapes? The drapes? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you about the drapes, my friend. Uh, no, that's okay. Maybe his hobby is interior decorating, Sam. Well, let's not chance it. Let's not chance it. We want to talk to your boss. Nobody talks to Don Teddy Bear, the head of the Toy Mafia. Doesn't he get lonely? Except other members of the Toy Mafia. Oh, that'd explain it. Okay. We'll be back. A word of advice, because I like you two. When you walk away from the Toy Mafia, watch your back. Okay. What is this thing? Mine. Stay away from it. Okay. Whoa, monitors. Looks like you can monitor the whole casino floor from there. And a few other places besides. Or you can watch Mary Tyler Moore. Who told you about that? Is it on the screen right there? No, 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 that's Sybil. Interesting. What's behind that door? None of your business. Okay, it says do not enter under... Uh, un... Under pain of death. It's amazing how menacing these guys can look in spite of the teddy bear heads. The music's pretty good here. Maybe one of them is the mole. Maybe one of them is the mole. But we can't talk to them just yet. We have to do the three quests that have been given to us. And all three of them are where we uh, originally were. Gonna have to create some kind of solution to this problem. I wonder who stole the sandwich. The original meatball sandwich is gone. I didn't yes. do it! Reader. Hi, Levy Bear. Having fun? No. Thanks, Levy Bear. Enjoy! Alright. Show me the money. Show me the sandwich. Show me the money. You show me the sandwich, I'll show you the money. I will, I tell you. Just show me the money. <laughs> you too? Hi, jerkbag. Trying to vent something hot, Leonard? Like a meatball sandwich, Leonard? A meatball sandwich you stole, Leonard? <gasps> you two stay back, or I swear by my mother's bedspread, I'll shoot you both. Excuse me, are you by any chance holding us at gunpoint with a harmless cap gun? Once a cheat, always a cheat, eh, Leonard? What? No. Sicken, little buddy. I thought sick you'd never sick. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Okay, Leonard, are you gonna tell us where the sandwich is, or are we gonna have to get rough, er? Say rough! Say rough! I'll never talk. There ain't nothing you can do to break me. Nothing. Does your mother know what you've become? 
Don't you talk about my mama. My mama's a saint. Is she the saint of sterno heated fried food? Because if so, she may have another follower. Hold on, Max. I think we've just found our captive's weak spot. Which? His uninspired diction or his laughably bad grammar? Neither. I say we hit this cheat and slime receptacle where it hurts the most. Right in the mother. You mean... That's right, Max. It's time to pull out the Yo Mama jokes. Oh. Yay! Yay! No, not that! Anything but that! Leonard, Yo Mama's so fat. Uh, she's so fat. Oh, curdled goat's milk on a warm summer day. I can never remember the punchlines. That's funny. I remember all the punchlines, but I can never remember the setups. Well then, Max, I think we'll have to break this two-bit varmint as a team. Follow my lead. <laughs> Yo mama's so fat. She has more folds than an origami accordion. Oh, it's true. It's working. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Okay, making grown men weep. A fun pastime for the Yay. whole family. Yo mama's so radiant. Um... If she fell in nuclear waste, no one would notice. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. Yes, we're definitely making a dent now. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Okay. Yo mama's so thrifty. Hmm. She brings coupons to the Penny Arcade. Oh, mama, make it stop. He's getting closer to breaking. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Yeah! <laughs> Yo mama's so perky. Wait. Uh, I, what? I'm a little bit dumb. Hold on. What's your friend's Valorant username? Which one? would make a longshoreman blush. What? That doesn't even make sense. Whoops, let's try that again. Yo mama's so perky. Um, you'd have to ask them. <sighs> she shut up. Um. She beat out Sam for best in show. Hey, that's supposed to make me feel bad? Let's try that oh. again. I don't know this Your one. Your mama's so... She knitted a sweater with all her own materials. What kind of insult is that? Let's try that oh. again. Your mama's... Um... She showed up early for her own funeral. What? Whoops. Uh, uh. Yo, mama. The only time she's low is at a limbo contest. <laughs> stop! Please, stop! This can all be over if you'll just tell us where the Ask sandwich who? is. No. Let's hit him one more time, Ask Sam. Ask the person that you're talking about. Yo, mama's so vulgar. She showed up early for her own funeral. That's supposed to make. Let's try uh, that. Oh, uh, shit. Yo, mom. She be. Hey, what kind of ins. Let's try. Oh, uh, shit. Hold on. Yo, mom. Her mouth. 
<laughs> okay, okay. I'll tell you where the sandwich is. Just leave my mama alone. Of course, Why Leonard. We would never friend? do anything to dishonor your dad. Why don't you <laughs> I think ask them the, the sandwich server? out of the casino? Hit it in the in? price slot of the one-armed bandit, and then took the one arm so no one. That's could what I mean. Which brings us to the next question: Where's the arm? I got it right here. Thanks, jerk bag. How did we not notice that before? I was too busy taking his cap gun to notice that extra arm. We'd best get back to the casino and win back that sandwich. See you around, sucker! Wait, aren't you gonna untie me? Hello? Guys? Jimmy? Anybody? No. Jiminy Crickets. We gotta win that sandwich back, fellas. Wait, he's here now. I have an idea. Whee! Hello there. What brings you to this neighborhood, Cuddly Bear? Don't look now, but I think the Toy Mafia are watching us. Maybe he's a giant Ewok, starting the line for the next Star Wars movie. Bosco's isn't a movie theater. No, but if he waits long enough, it might be. Might be. Let's mosey. Is that Lee? <sighs> Who messaged me? Nobody. Nobody important, that is. Halt! Are you trying to deliver something? I am watching you! No, I would never... Halt! Are you... No. Halt! Damn it. I have an idea. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to um Sybil's here. Um Howdy, Sybil. No, no, you isn't Dame Person that big chin puppet used to scare children? Oh, Sam! Max! Thank goodness it's you! I thought it was someone come to kill me! Yes, well... You seem, understandably, a little tense. Maybe you should switch to decaf. What? Oh, yes. The coffee cup. I'm out of coffee, but I'm so nervous I keep trying to drink it anyway. It's funny how stress can reduce cup. you to just a bundle of mindless reflexes. Is that what happened to me? Wouldn't it be wonderful to think so? How's that new profession working out? Oh, Sam. The life of a professional witness isn't all courtroom theatrics and finger pointing. The Toy Mafia told me if I testified against them, they'd rub me out. They tried to buy you off with a Swedish massage? No, Max. I think they meant murder. Have you considered the possibility of staging your own death to throw the Toy Mafia off the scent? That would be dishonest. It would be a refutation of everything I stand for as a professional witness. Big payoffs? Graft? Corruption? The truth. You're a real antique, you know that? I mean in a good way. 
I've always liked antiques. Um, so are you going to testify? Unfortunately, I've discovered that I have too many principles not to. What lousy timing. Principles are pesky things. I hear they can be surgically removed now. We'll be back. I know you will. You're the only two I can trust. Oh, really? She should consider guilt slinger as her next profession. Just what do you think you're doing? Looks like he missed her. The magnet wouldn't look good there. The magnet would... I have an idea. Whee! I mean, we gotta get the free condiments. Get a grande ketchup macchiato with extra foam. You crack me up, little buddy. Who's you joking? Crack me up, little buddy. Surely this game would get wouldn't give me a false lead, right? Surely. Oh my goodness, thank you. I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. That's never stopped me. Tempting sometimes. Excellent. She's dead. Nice and messy. That should send a clear message to any other potential rats. I'm reminded of yesterday's dinner on all points. Hey, what happened to the picture? With all due respect, Don, who cares? Now that she's whacked, we don't need to keep watching her, do we? I suppose so. Give me a pretzel, Chuckles. These things are. Are you gonna play pitch. Valorant? Tonight? You're a real sociopath, Don Maybe. Bear. I mean that as a compliment, naturally. Naturally. <laughs> hey Sam, webcam tastes like chicken. Good idea, John. Now those toy mafia goons won't see Sybil wake up, which could be important to our continued good health. And we've learned that webcams go great with ketchup. Another fun fact to add to the crime-fighting arsenal. Hey, Sam, are we mafiosi yet? Not yet. Our journey to the dark side has just begun. Our journey to the dark side has just begun. Whee! <laughs> okay, so now we have to... Find a way to do something with this. I think we need to... Let's see. Ah, the cap gone! 
symbol of French military might. Halt! Are you trying to deliver something? I... Halt! I'm trying to shoot Max. Hey, Bosco. Um. Look outside. It's the Toy Mafia. What? Where? Oh, you are right. It is a Toy Mafioso pretending to read the newspaper. He will not sneak past me. Oh, no. The price of paranoia is eternal vigilance. What if his Toy Mafia disguise is just a disguise? Oh. I gotta see what he's reading. No, Chuckles was very specific. It's got to go on the sale table. Hmm. If he's pretending to read local news, he's CIA. If he's pretending to read international, he's CIA. Quick, Sam, while he's distracted. Right, I'll just drink Coleco's ghost. Damn it. Thanks, little buddy. Mmm. Comics. He may be... When Bosco gets distracted, he really gets distracted. Hmm. I have an idea. If he's pretending to do the word jumble, he's with the Knights of Malta. Special delivery. Camera. Hmm. The society. Whee! All right, now is our chance. He's pretending to read the gardening section, so it's true. Ugh. He is toy mafia. I hope we don't lose Bosco's friendship over this. Me neither. He's my second favorite delusional paranoid. Ah. Second favorite. You're the first. Oh no! Oh no! He's coming in. We're done for, y'all. I surrender! I surrender! Ah! I told you this would happen! I told you he would deliver, and he delivered! I can't believe that guy! Don't worry, Bosco. We'll help you purge this place of Mafia contraband just as soon as we solve this case we're so incredibly busy with. Oh yeah, you're real busy. You done nothing but loiter around my store all day. What can we say? We love to loiter. So now we get to be toy mobsters, right? There's still the matter of the meatball sandwich. Oh, right. It's so easy to forget these things. Silly, silly. Hey, wait a second. Why didn't B Taz Pop Do work? Ah! My camera! Oh, oh, what was that microphone? No, no, no. <laughs> what was that microphone? <laughs> Oh my god, it like... <laughs> oh, it like fucking... <laughs> he screamed so hard that the that the bitrate of the microphone de depleted. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Where are we going, Sam? Oh, fuck. Teddy Bear's <laughs> Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! I mean, like Pete? Oh my god. That was so good. <laughs> Welcome to Ask a. Oh man. Fuck. That was so funny.
No, the one-armed bandit arm. Presto. Another. All right. Success. Here's the meatball sandwich. Should we taste it to make sure? Sweet Tomain, no. Did that thing just give you a prize? Must be out of adjustment. I'll have it serviced. On the plus side, we've recovered the original meatball sandwich. And what a pungent piece of sculpture it is. I'm surprised we couldn't smell it from downtown. Let me see that. Hmm. Yes, that's definitely the sandwich. Teddy Bear will be very pleased. Is he hungry? Generally, yes. You've done well, boys. Follow me to the back room. There's a little initiation ceremony. We're getting our pristine navels groped by pristine naval officers again? Shut your ultra-wide trap and follow me. Y yes sir. Sam, Max, you have done what we have asked of you. Acts of intelligence, malevolence, and subservience. And we welcome you into the ranks of the Orso Nostra. Nice. My stuff runneth over. There's a small ritual with the ceremonial picnic baskets, and then a few other technicalities, and then Joey will show up with some cold cuts. But first, as a sign of respect, I will remove my mask. Which is good, because I can barely talk to this stupid thing. That's better. Man alive, do I schwitz in that ghetto. Holy fat free carp on a skewer. You're a mole. In fact, you must be the one we... I mean, uh... Does the carpet match the drapes? The code phrase, idiot! These guys are freelance police! Apparently, they still haven't figured out that I've switched sides. He's right, Max. We still haven't realized that. Wait, so I get that the mole turned traitor, presumably for the wealth and power that the toy mafia could offer, but what happened to the previous teddy bear? Or teddy bears. Well, we know the original teddy bear choked on his own meatball sandwich back in 65. Yes, good point. Should we run now? Perhaps so. Get them! Head for the car, little buddy. Oh, God. Sam, I couldn't help but notice that a number of bloodthirsty gangsters are right on our tail. Eat lead, coppers. Yes, I saw Eat that. Lead. What's worse, they've got those new bulletproof tires from Crime Mart. Only modern technology got horribly, horribly awry. All of them? All but one. Teddy Bear himself. Let's go take down that fat little fraud once and for all. Good idea. Hold on, little buddy. Hey! Hey, the dawn is gone. Well, now's our chance to find out just what that traitorous mole bear is planning. You know, without that menacing mumble, he doesn't seem capable of planning brunch, much less a dastardly master plan. Agreed. But in my experience, there's always something interesting behind any door that says, Do not enter under pain of death. Under pain of death. Minibar. What's a dangerous crime outfit without readily available liquor? So true. 
A gangster needs a little privacy when he changes bear heads. Hmm. Apparently, Teddy Bear keeps the details of his operation elsewhere. Okay. Don't want to question the golden head. He's got a bunch of maps in here, with what looks like truck routes going all over the country. Interesting, but it probably doesn't mean anything. Surely. Hey, there's a whole bear-making factory back here. You mean, the respectable propriety of a gambling casino is just a front for the shadowy underworld of labor and industry? I'm scandalized! You two? You're back? Inconceivable! But come no closer! I know how to use both of these! I'll be honest, we're probably more worried about the gun. Indeed! More fool you, then! And this hypno bear will make you my willing slaves! <laughs> You can do the factory work now that you've rid me of my inept underlings! Look! Look at the Hypno-Bear! Whatever Daddy Bear said. Don't you feel... sleepy? Don't we? We don't. Hypnosis won't work on either of us. But play along until we get that gun from him. I asked you a question, slaves! Yes, Master. So sleepy. <laughs> what he said. Really? Seems a little off somehow. Hmm. Maybe it's just me. No, oh, I know. Here's a test. Tall one, you shoot the short one. Excuse me, master. Shoot your friend! I command it! This blows. Right. I obey. Mother of mercy, is this the end of little Maxie? Oh, death, where is that guy, Sting? Very... Oh, the pain, the pain, and only two days to retirement. You gotta promise to team all the Dukes of Hazard for me. Promise me! Okay, so... Or cowards die a thousand deaths. Okay. Well, heroes die but right. once. Unless they're playing video games, in which case heroes die a lot too. So good night, Fresh Prince. And may Charlie's angels sing thee to thy rest. Right, well... So cold. Why am I so cold? Okay, good job, slave. Just about ready to have you shoot him again. Yes, master. Now, slave, you run the factory while I read the paper. Just get the Hypnobear sorted for delivery. You can take them around later. Yes, master. Good, good. Now I'm off to see what Rye Observation Fred Massett has for us today. Max, you keep playing dead. I'll figure out some way to bring Teddy Bear and his factory to their respective knees. I can't hear you. I'm dead. He's dead. Unintelligible console, go. This is quite a gizmo. Insidious. What if I just shoot everything? I think these are the voice gizmos for the insidious hypnotic bears. I can't listen to that. Think, boy! Nah. Nefarious. Hey, this isn't even a real fire extinguisher. Gas. This is quite a gizmo. Well, that didn't do much. I can't think, boy! Max almost plugged that thing up for good. And he's not even that big. Damn it. 
Insidious. Nefarious. Anybody got a screw loose? You're on fire. This is quite a this is quite a gizmo. You okay, little buddy? I could use a mattress. Stapler, by the way. Me too! If being dead is half as boring as pretending to be dead, I'm never gonna do it! Use the screwdriver on the unintelligible console. I really don't want to screw. I wouldn't know where to begin. Insidious. I wouldn't know what. All right. I have an idea. I think these are. I really don't want to screw that. Let me think, what, what could I screw up? An idea. From what I can tell, the lever's working just fine as it is. I really don't... I have an idea. You will give all your money to Ted E. Oh, isn't that cute? I really don't want to screw. I think these are the voice gizmos for the inside. I doubt I could hypnotize that. Oh, you just think you know it all, don't you, Mary Worth? Excuse me, Master. What is it? You will give all your money to Teddy Bear. I will give all my money to Teddy Bear. Rat. I'm sorry, I must have dozed off for a minute. What did you want, slave? Never mind. Rats. I need to figure out What do you think I should do? Take out Teddy Bear and while you're at it this bear making machine. Maybe the whole factory. Even dead, you don't lack for ambition, Max. Stay put. Try to be quick about Why can't I just take I one of these? Are the I doubt I could hypnotize that. Hmm. I wouldn't know where. Wait, I have an idea. Oops, you're on fire. Idea how to Okay, so if I put this frame on what's it in this window cover.
altered one. You're on fire. Aw, isn't that cute? Alright, take the altered one and put it to him. I know she's married now, but that Kathy is still smoking hot. Oh, master. What is it now, slave? You're on fire. You're on fire. I'm on, I'm on fire! Help! Help! I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Okay, go. Hurry now. Goes Pull the switch. I'm on fire! Uh oh. Nice work, Sam. Thanks, pal. I don't think that mole is as spelt as yours truly, though. In fact, look! Um, little help? I can't tell if it's comical or life-threatening. Who says they have to be mutually exclusive? I forget. Which color means I can't take my bath and body scrub with me? That one run. That one run. Good. That's what I call breaking the bank. And the sidewalk, and the water main, and the buffet table. You're really broken up about that buffet table, aren't you, Max? It was the only innocent in this whole affair, Sam. I mean, apart from the bystanders and their pets. Buck up, little pal. Maybe the commissioner will take us out for a pungent meal at Squirrel Garden when we tell him how we cracked the case. He better. For all the hard work I did, I want two, no, three jellied lemurs with extra salt. This is Secret Agent Chuckles. The factory's been destroyed. Repeat, the factory has been destroyed. Commence Plan B. <gasps> Gasp. Hmm. So that was probably the easiest one in terms of um, puzzles. Um, I didn't struggle with that one compared to like uh, Sam and Max, the episode one. Episode one, I I fucking sucked at it. I was t like that took me so long. Situation comedy took a little bit longer. This one. Yeah, this one was the easiest one. But I like this game. Or uh, this episode. Um, the next episode is episode 4. Abe Lincoln Must Die. They went out of their way to make a, a song for this episode. That's fun. 2007. Oh, man. That was so long ago. Jeez, man. 2007. Oh. Good shit. The, the outro actually kind of sounded like fa Family Guy's theme song. Need. Our family guy. All right, let me see. Episode four. I should do like a ranked thing. Ranked thing. Like rank all the Ma Sam and Max games at some point. Just because there's so many. There's Save the World. Which I haven't even played. What is this part of again?
interesting tasks and sheer absurdity of, of trying to find the mole within the Italian Mafia. 90 minutes or so. That's true. I wonder. Um... I'm gonna play this again. Ain't no way you're gonna play this again. Ain't no way you're gonna play this again. What is Save the World supposed to be? Other than... This has to be something else, isn't it? What is Save the World? Oh, this is the remastered versions. Oh! So these are the remastered versions of the... Episodes? We also have... Beyond Space and Time, which I don't think I've played yet. And you can get the original versions... On... Here, instead of just the ones that I purchased <laughs> manually. <laughs> well, looks just... like this is it. So beyond space and time, how do I not own this game? Skunk ape. Skunk ape games. Interesting, interesting. So wait, I'm trying to see what, because like, I didn't want to be on the wrong game page if it meant I was, yeah, like, uh, because I, I said here that I'm playing S Sam and Max Save the World, but I'm technically not playing, I don't think I'm technically playing Sam and Max Save the World. I'm not entirely sure, so that's why I'm just checking real quick to make sure I was on the right thing, so I can fix it next time. Let's see here. <sighs> Let me check. Let's see. Yeah, so it is season one. I think. It's just called Sam and Max Season... Let me make sure that's correct. Hold on. Because I, I was using the Wikipedia. And the Wikipedia has a timeline of the video games. So yeah, it's called Save and World. Uh, Save the World. So that's the ones that we're doing right now. And then there's Beyond Ta Time and Space. Which is Season 2. Which, I already own those. Okay, so I have those. So this is beyond time and space. And then what's season three? This... Wait. No, wait. Wait, what? Oh, season three is the... The Devil's Playhouse. Okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, so I technically have them. So they're they're all part of this whole thing. But the original the original games that I'm playing is called Sam and Max Save the World. And then I think they have the topic for Beyond Time and Space and then Devil's Playhouse. Let me check real quick. Sam and Max Save the World, Devil's Playhouse, and Save the world, Devil's Playhouse, Beyond Time and Space. Yeah, okay. So they are on here, perfect. Okay. Alright, well, now I know I wasn't on the wrong game. Cool, 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 cool. Because on Steam, they don't, they're, they're just, it's just a Sam and Max 101, Sam and Max 102, Sam and Max 103. It doesn't say anywhere on here, it's Save the World. And then I have a separate game called Sam and Max Save the World. But this is just a remastered version of 
those games. So that makes sense. How much do you yap? Would you rather me not talk and do my job? Would you rather me just sit here and not talk and be even more boring? Or would you rather me actually do what I'm supposed to do? Which is actually do my job. When it comes to streaming. Get on Valorant? Uh, I don't think I will. I, I don't think I will. Since you're asking me and bothering me so much about it. How about that? I don't think I will. Out of spite. Give me, uh, 10 bucks. I'll play it for 30 minutes. Did you just say, suck my dick? Um... Um... You want me to... suck your penis? That's a little weird. Don't you think? Bro stopped. It seems like that's what you want me to do. All right, uh, I will not divulge any further into the, wait, ugh, I can't believe this woke censorship. How could they cut out the 20 minute sex scene? I love those guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, so a lot of people are frustrated with the remake version of Sam and Max Save the World because, uh, they remove a lot of jokes from the original, which is what we've been playing. Or not a lot of jokes, but they changed some of the jokes. It's actually changed. Uh, so. <laughs> I'll have you know that uh, Sim and Max are canonically gay. So. That's why, that's why it's funny. The joke is that there is no sex scene, but because people uh, people were complaining about the remake, removing certain jokes that were in the game that were a little edgy, um, they were using the, the fact that they're gay and the fact that they removed uh, certain jokes and put them together and then made a Steam review, and that's why I thought it was funny. So... Anyways, yeah, okay. Fuck you. Um, I'm gonna go enjoy life now, because I have to work tomorrow, and... Again, tomorrow, after, th after that. But we will be back on Sunday, and I'm probably gonna play whatever I feel like playing. Never ask me to play a video game, or else I will not do it. Just a reminder. I get to choose what I play. <laughs>